what is up everybody welcome back to the channel um you guys this is this is this is what it is man this is freaking what it takes this is what you have to do um this is what everyone does this is nothing new like investing in yourself investing in your business and and just whatever you got to do to 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 get that knowledge from someone who has already been there and done that whatever you have to do to get a hold of that person and, and a lot of the times at the end of the day, it comes down to investing money, right? Because you're either investing in a coach and taking their time, a consultant, taking their time, a therapist and taking their time. You're either investing in, in, in education and taking the professor at that university's time, right? We, this is nothing new. We've been investing in, in, in education and knowledge since, since day one, whether it came in whether it came or comes in that type of physical form or whether it comes in the form of a book, right? How long have we been reading books? How long have, have people been writing books and we've been purchasing books and we've been learning from books and, 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 and that's gone on for, for, you know, a couple hundred years, let's say just in this country alone, thousands of years globally, right? Books, reading books, absorbing knowledge and getting it that way. It's been that way since, since, since day one. And then now as we go into the internet era and, and, and online education, now we're absorbing information via digital online on the internet. Um, and, 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 and information comes to us on this highway in all types of shapes and forms. Um, and, and one huge, huge, huge piece of the entire market is, is some type of digital course. And a lot of times it's video. And so what you're seeing just kind of flood the storm, flood the market um, like a storm is, is digital products, digital information, people teaching what they know via video, packaging it all up and selling it, right? And, and really bringing value to a specific audience, teaching them so many different things, like pick your topic. There is a course, there is a book, there is a coach, there is a class on damn near everything, right? I'm telling you, old school, textbook, old school, classroom, going into 2020 and beyond, this internet is going to continue to scale and, 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 and trip out because there's many, many countries around the world that are not even online yet. There's many, many countries around the world that are not even on social media yet. So it's like, dude, we are just getting started. Like we, the internet is, is, is really at scale and, and just exploding and will continue to explode. And so that kind of just brings me down to what, what I've been doing, man. What I've been doing for literally the past 20 years is investing, investing in personal development. Whether that was a book, whether that was an actual conference, and I actually hopped my ass on an airplane, flew to a different state to sit in front of a stage of someone teaching me something. I've been doing that for 20 years. So again, information and, 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 and people like us who have a hunger to learn, we've been purchasing this stuff forever. And, and I'm just here to tell you, man, in 2020, it's, it's, it's now, it's, it's, it's damn near all digital. It's, it's, it's packaging up your knowledge, putting it in some type of video form and, and really bringing it to a marketplace and, and bringing value. And I'm telling you, people will buy it. Um, what I started doing in 20, let's see, 20, 18, 2018 is I started investing in, in these digital courses in online education, online courses, teaching me specific things, teaching me what I wanted to learn, Instagram ads, Facebook advertising, how to build a social media agency. These are different, how to, how to, how to, how to build a YouTube channel, simple courses. Some were expensive, some were inexpensive, but the ones that I got my hands on were pretty much all effective. Like I picked up something from every single type of course. Um, and I, it's not like I purchased a lot. Like I haven't, I got so many books. Like if you guys can see behind my camera, I have been a bookworm for 20, 25 years. Like it was, it, it's so funny because it was after college when I fell in love with books, but I fell in love with reading books on what I wanted to learn, entrepreneurship, personal development, positive thinking, like what's going to help me get better? What's going to help me be better as a person? What's going to help me be better as an entrepreneur? I started diving into material like that 
at the age of 19, 20. Okay. And it hasn't stopped. It hasn't stopped. All I'm saying now is that I'm, I'm bringing, I'm bringing this whole video up for two reasons. Reason number one is that today we're, we're, we're consuming digital product, digital video, YouTube video form, right? That's on the consumer level. On the entrepreneur side of it all, there's two levels, right? Two sides, two reasons. The second reason is the fact that on the entrepreneur level, it's never been, the opportunity has never been this wide open. How many of you wrote a book? Not many. How many of you were, at, were a teacher at your local college or university? Not many. How many of, how many of you were a teacher at the, at, 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 at the elementary school down the street? None of us, none of us, none of us, but we all have something that we can teach. We all have a passion. We all are fired up about something. We all have something that we can easily, you know how to build cars? Okay, I know you could teach me. You know how to cut grass? Are you a pretty damn good landscaper? I know you can teach me. Are you good at baking? I know you can teach me. Are you good at cooking? I know you can teach me. Are you good at sewing? I know you can teach me. Are you good at yoga? Are you good at Excel spreadsheet? Are you good at Facebook ads? Are you good at Shopify? Are you good at building an Amazon store? Are you built are you good at print on demand and 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 now you're now you're producing hoodies and t-shirts and hats? Are you good at this type of stuff? Of course you are. Are you fired up about it? Of course you are. Could you teach me how to do it? Of course you can. So it's like on the the opportunity, the second side, the other side of it all is the business side of it all is that never before has the opportunity been this wide open for every single person out there that has something to teach or that's fired up about something. I literally, literally took my biggest investment. I haven't invested that much into my personal self all that one time. Um, but I ended up investing into this course, Get Clients, Dan Henry. Shout out to Dan Henry. This was not your low ticket course. Like this one, this one was literally an investment of five grand. Okay. Um, and so when most people look at that type of, of, of high ticket or, or just when a consumer looks at purchasing anything, let alone a freaking digital course, like who the hell, like, come on, dude, like that's not a little bit of money. Like that's a, that's a good little lick, right? 5K. So when most people look at spending that kind of money, that's how they look at it. They look at it as, as spending. They look at it as some type of expense. Like it's like, shit, man. It's like, it, they look at it as if they're paying their, their freaking collections bill. And they're like, damn, dude, I don't know if I want, I, that, that's a lot of money. Even at 997, I know most of you guys haven't even invested in a 997. I know a lot of you have, but even at 997, looking at something for a thousand dollars, a lot of us, we look at that. I know I for sure did. For a long time, I looked at, at 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 courses or different things like that at that price range, nine ninety seven, fourteen ninety seven, and I'm like, dang, dude, like that's a lot of money, right? Like we were all there, we've all been there, um, but again, it's all perspective, it's all mindset, it's all freaking how are you looking at it? Most people look at it as an expense. Most people look at it as a freaking risk. Most people look at it as freaking spending or wasting money. It's like, hell no, dude. From day one, I've always looked at this type of stuff as an investment, as an investment, uh, an investment in myself. I'm either going to spend that money and go to a local community college. I'm either going to spend that money and have to hire somebody to do all this stuff for me. When, when I can invest that money, learn this myself, go out there and execute. And, and what I always look at, I always look at the, 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 the ROI. I'm like, okay, shit, if this costs me this much, like for example, when, when you just look at product in general, if it's going to cost me, you know, if it's going to cost me a thousand dollars for inventory and, and that's going to, that's going to be, let's just say, it, let's, let's say, let's say that, 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 that costs, that costs, mm, let's just call it a thousand dollars and that that gets me a hundred units of whatever but each unit i can sell let's just say there's a hundred of them each unit i can sell for 10 bucks it got actually let, let's say a hundred bucks a hundred bucks a hundred units i sell each one for 100 bucks it cost me a thousand dollars to invest and get that inventory do you see how you look at, see how it, it, it changed? It didn't just cost you. It wasn't just a cost. It wasn't an expense. It was literally an investment. I invested $1,000 to get 100 units where I'm going to sell each unit for 100 bucks. 
you see how that works? Like that's an investment. So when I look at these types of investments that, that are for specific reasons, which in this case, it has to do with my business. Like this is an investment in my business. And if I can learn one thing, or if I can pick up a couple of things that that's going to help me get my business to the next level. And what that means to me is X, Y, and Z equaling this much money in my bank account, ROI. That's how I look at everything, man. I look at it as an investment. If I can learn something and if I can flip what I got going on, and if I could just sell a couple of other things that I got going on and I make this much, then it was an investment, right? It didn't cost me anything it, it, when I look at things that way. And so it's, it's, it's the people out there that are investing in courses and taking all these random ass courses and not learning anything from them or not even getting through them. I know so many people are guilty of, of purchasing stuff and not even getting through it, right? And it's like, dude, how many times have you, have you purchased a book and maybe you didn't even read the whole book, right? It's like, dude, it's the same thing. And so just on the entrepreneur side, back to what I was saying about that is that Right now, you guys, it's, it's, it's a wide open opportunity to start leveraging and monetizing your knowledge. Like people are glued to their phone. They're glued to their computers. Depending on when you're watching this, people are even glued and locked down into their house. If you're in the U.S., you know, we're going through this crazy coronavirus thing. So people are literally indoors, glued to their computer, glued to their phones and absorbing information right? Consuming information. And that's where we're at, man. And when it comes to a digital product, it took a person once. It took them one time to create it in this form video. I'm talking a video. I'm talking about video content, video training, online courses, video. Okay. It'll take you one time to make that video, maybe a couple of times if you need to edit and all that stuff. But let's say, let, just call it one time. You create that video one time and you can literally sell it over and over and over and over and over again. And when you're very smart about that content and you're talking about a specific topic and you're actually educating someone about something and you actually market it to a specific audience, not just everyone, you're not going to just take your link and post it on social media. No, dude, you're actually approaching it like a real product, like a real business. Like this is my market. This is my demographics. I know exactly my avatar. I know exactly who I'm targeting and I know exactly their pain points and I'm going to help them and I'm going to sell them this course. I'm going to, I'm going to share my knowledge with them and, 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 and I'm going to charge them a premium. I'm telling you guys, people are freaking willing to consume information more than ever. And they're willing to invest in themselves more than ever. People have to, they have to, like, where else are you going to learn? You know, there's so many, there's just so many things that we want to learn and, and, and there's someone out there that can teach it. And I'm telling you that person has monetized it. If they're smart, which they probably are, they've monetized it, put it onto YouTube. Like I have and started building a YouTube channel. What's that doing in return for me? Building a following. Now I'm monetized. Now I'm getting YouTube money every month, right? So it's like, it's like, dude, okay, I could put that value in video form on a YouTube and, and free to everyone and, and, and monetize the back end of it. Or I could package all that knowledge up and put it in, 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 in some type of course and sell it. And that's what I'm referring to, man. That right there is a big, big, big multi, multi hundred figure um, um, industry, billion dollar industry, 200, 300 billion protected by, by 2023. So it's like, because it's, the, we're now in the knowledge era. We're now in, this is the knowledge society. We are consuming information on the internet. And, and, and I'm telling you, honest to God, true story, man. I'm telling this to my son this morning. I am literally giving game to my 12 year old this morning. I'm saying, Hey man, here, look, you need to understand here. There, there's only two types of people in your lifetime, like what you're, you're 12 years old, bro. I'm telling them, right. I'm like, dude, you're 12. Like you are going to grow up in a completely different world than I did. And then your and, and, and different than your grandparents did. Like you're going to be growing up. And, and I'm telling them, I'm, I'm like, dude, your little sister who happens to be not even two, she's going to grow up in a completely different world as well. And right now the era that we're in, I'm telling them, I'm like, right now, the era that we're in is everyone's glued to their phone. And so there's two types of people out here. There's two types of people. And, and, and I'm, I'm telling them this because 
he likes to be glued to it at times as well. Not crazy because he doesn't have a phone, but the iPad, he'll he'll be glued to it if I let him or if his mom lets him. Like he would, he could he could live on that iPad, but we don't let him at all. Like straight A student, like I check him for sure. But if I gave him the opportunity, he'd be on that damn thing all damn day, right? And he was on it this morning, and that's what led me to 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 wanting to give him some game. I'm like, dude, there's two types of people. One type of person is going to be that type of person who's glued to that phone and all they're doing is consuming information. That's it. They're watching everyone's ad because he's watching YouTube, right? He got these YouTube subscribers, 2 million, 3 million subs, you know, his, these guys that he follow, you know, follows on YouTube has. And I'm like, dude, do you understand how much money they're making? So I'm like, dude, number one, you're either going to be sitting there glued to that phone, just like everyone is consuming information, and that's all you're doing. Or number two, you're that second type of person that's actually giving the information for that consumer to consume. And the person that's providing that content, the person that's providing that information for that end user to consume is the person who's making the money. I'm like, you're either going to be on this phone to make money or you're going to be on this phone to waste it. And, and time is money. So you're wasting time if all we're doing is trying to be person number one and the consumer. You don't want to be just a consumer. You have to be on the other end. You need to be person number two. You need to figure out the way, figure out a way. You need to crack the code on what it's going to take to make money online. You need to be that second person, just like that YouTuber that you follow got four freaking four million subscribers. I'm like, dude, you need to figure out how the hell he did that. You need to be on that end of it all, right? People need to be watching your ads. You know, he's sitting there on his iPad watching ads, you know, as his as he's watching his damn freaking Fortnite damn YouTube video. I'm like, dude, do you understand how much this person's making? I'm like, they got three million subscribers. Like, do you understand how much this this person, this freaking 16 year old is making? And, and so he understands. I'm like, dude, you got to get with it. Like we are in this knowledge base era where again, you're going to either be the consumer or you're going to be the content provider. And guess what? It's the content provider who is the entrepreneur and who is making the money. Be that person, you guys. So this right here, you guys, honest review of a, of a $5,000 training course, digital course, online course and again what are we buying courses on on things that we're interested in things that we want to learn things that we want to want to want to um you know learn from to help us get better at whatever that may be better cook better baker better landscape landscaper lawnmower guy better entrepreneur better facebook advertiser better shopify store owner whatever there's a topic for everyone and in this particular case, I'm into entrepreneurship, I'm into digital courses, I'm into Facebook advertising, I'm into building my social media agency. Those are all the things that I would be interested in, in investing, investing in, right? So if you dangle a carrot in front of my face and you say, hey man, this digital course, this is what I'm teaching, X, X Y, and Z, click here, like dude, especially if you're building a personal brand, you're building a YouTube channel, you're building your social media brand, you're building your following up. That all adds, that's all added benefit to you eventually selling something digital as well. You know, I've been following Dan Henry for about a, about a year, about a year and a half. And I finally pulled the trigger because this is where I plan on going in 2020 with my, with my social media agency, I am going to scale it. I am tired of fishing for people. I want to teach them how to fish for themselves. And, and so everything that I do and, 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 and everything I, I, I started doing and still do for social media clients, I simply believe that they can learn it themselves. And I truly believe that they have to learn it themselves. Um, I truly believe they want to learn it themselves. And so that's what I'm looking to scale. And so I had to go out there and find the best of the best of who – is actually doing that and invest in them, you guys. And that's what I did, man. It wasn't a $47 course. It wasn't a $470 course. It wasn't a $997 or a $1497. It wasn't even a $1997 course. It was five grand. Five grand course. Um, so it's not your low ticket, obviously. And it's not for those who are, 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 are weak. I, I could tell you that much because there was no refund at all. And just that's what I'm saying, man. Shout out to Dan Henry. You have to find those mentors. 
if you can find those people, that's why reading books are so powerful because if that author, especially reading autobiographies, it's like, dude, if that person went through all that and they're willing to tell you how the hell they did it, why wouldn't you want to read that book? Like, like, and that's why entrepreneurship, when you find someone who's successful, why and hell in the hell would you not want to listen to that person? Like I tell my son all the time, dude, I'm like, dude, I'm freaking, do you understand how much more older I am, uh, you know, from you? Like, do you understand like how much game that is? Like, do you understand how much knowledge I have to give you? So I tell my son, I'm like, dude, cause he's now at that age where he's like, you know, has his own personality and all that shit. And I'm like, dude, first of all, I'm gonna knock you out. Second of all, just listen. Don't question, don't freaking, I mean, you can question out of curiosity, but don't question out of, out of, out of freaking, out of, out of, out of disagreement, right? Don't question me because I'm your dad and I am giving you nothing but knowledge and game. Like, how can you not want to consume that? You'd be an idiot to not want to consume that. And so when it comes to everything else, you guys, if you can find people who have succeeded before you and have succeeded in exactly what you're trying to succeed in, I'm telling you, man, that's when all the stars align. And that's when you have to dig, dig, dig into your, into your savings, into your, into your freaking whatever, like it, your, your secret stash, whatever, dude, that's when you have to say, you know what, dude, I have to invest because if it ain't this, how else am I going to get this knowledge? I'm for sure not going to freaking spend the next 24 months spinning my wheel, trying to crack the code myself. You'd be stupid to do that. Success leaves clues. Successful people follow other successful people. Don't think you can do all this yourself, bro. You, you ain't that good. Like It's going to take massive trial and error. And all I'm saying is that never before has the opportunity been this wide open and been this transparent and has been this informational highway easy where I can Google anything I freaking want to learn and find someone who's teaching it. And if I can find that person who has taught it, who, who has not only can not only teach it well, but if I can find that person who actually has done it, that's a win-win. That's the stars aligning, right? That's a freaking, that, 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 that's your blueprint, right? And, and so when I jumped into this, which was exactly 30 days ago. So for the past 30 days, I literally have consumed so much information on the topic that I'm trying to master, digital courses, selling my digital course, and Facebook advertising. I literally have been in this week one, week two, right? Week three, week four, week five, week six. That is what I completed in the last 30 days. And I'm telling you, man, Again, when you go into investing and, and, and trying to look at anything, I'm talking about business, man. And, and again, at the same time, anything else, like if, if it's a hobby, then chances are it won't be a high ticket, you know, type of, of educational course or anything like this. But, it, but if it has to do with your business, if it has to do with sales, if it has to do with numbers of any, of any, of any sort, I looked at this and I'm like, dude, okay, this is what it takes to invest. If I can really learn how to take this, how to take my, my, my product to the next level. And if I were to just sell X amount, I can, I can make, I can recoup that investment. And that's how I look at it. You guys, it's like, dude, and I'm telling you going through these weeks, shout out to Dan Henry, man, shout out to Dan Henry. I've never invested that much before in, in any type of trading course at all. Right. But I'm telling you, I know where we're at at this. At, at, I, I see where we're at, man, from a consumer standpoint and from an entrepreneur standpoint. But even as a consumer, me just have my consumer hat on. I bought this, right? Um, that's where we're at now, man. I, I, I couldn't have got that in, in, in hiring him. I couldn't have got that knowledge through a book. I mean, even though he just came out with a book, that whole book wasn't gonna, isn't going to teach me step-by-step -step visuals, audio, details. Like, no, dude, you can't get, get that type of game from a book. That's why digital courses and video content is so different because I'm over here literally screen sharing, walking you through what the heck I'm seeing. Like it's a completely different form of communication. And that right there could be, that right there is what's sold. That's what you sell. That is the product, right? Is that information, that, that type of content, right? And again, you, 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 we've been buying information. We've been buying knowledge since, 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 since day one. But, but today, man, look at how, how we're consuming it online 
internet video form. And in this case, it's all packaged, packaged up in a, in a membership course. He recorded it one time and is monetizing it, selling it over and over and over and over and over again. And when you come, when you break down the numbers and you look at what you can sell your knowledge for, I'm telling you right now, knowledge courses go for 47 bucks. I bought courses for $47. I bought courses for $97. I bought courses for $500 and I bought courses, which is this one for five grand, right? And, and, and each course I got something out of, but even at this, at this one, as you know, being a freaking high ticket, like that ain't no lunch money, right? That's a lot of money, man. No matter who the hell you are, that, that was a, for sure, for sure. A lot, a lot for me, but again, an investment. And I'm telling you what I've got out of the first six weeks alone literally have put me this close, this close to launching my course with 1000% confidence. And, and, and not only that, but I, it, what, it, what I also got out of it is a completely, like I literally got the last missing piece that I needed to know for Facebook advertising. So it's like, dude, those two alone, like aside of all the other little mini details, how to set up your webinar, how to edit your webinar, how to host your webinar, how to build a, a, your, your organic following in the beginning, which is week one, week two, like how to put out a beta webinar, like so much knowledge and so much value is, is in this, man. And that's what I'm saying. It's like, dude, where else could I have got that? Like, I couldn't have hired him for his time. I wasn't going to get that in a freaking book. Like, like, am I going to have to hire someone every single month? That's why a lot of you real estate agents, a lot of people that are even just entrepreneurs in general, a lot of you guys don't even have the budget to hire someone in the marketing department to have them run your social media marketing full time, like a Gary V, for example. Like who has that type of budget? Like not many, right? Not many. And that's why I'm after teaching people how to do it. Teaching my social media agency clients how to do it. Teach them how to fish so they don't have to depend on someone else fishing for them because chances are they don't got the budget to even hire the fishermen, right? And so this is where we're at, man. This is where we're at. And I'm telling you, I already... I already got back my ROI. I've already made a return on investment. Like my ROI on this was absolutely insane, insane. So I'm telling you, man, honest review. This is by far the best course I've ever, ever, ever invested in when it came to how to sell my knowledge and Facebook advertising. Those two things alone is what I do day to day. It's how I feed my family. It's, the, it's, it's my daytime, full time, nighttime, all the time business. So those are the type of investments that people are taking, man. Whatever the heck they want to learn, they're going to go out there and learn it. And, and when you could be that, that, that authority figure, when you could be that, that teacher, when you could be that coach, and when you can digitize it, when you can monetize it through the form of video, that's when everybody wins. Because another, another reason why I have, have, you know, decided to scale my course is because I knew and I started experiencing in the very beginning – that, that I can't possibly talk to that many people. Like even if I was Superman, there's only so much time in a day. I cannot be pitching 20 people every day. Like it's like, dude, you know how exhausting that is? When you're doing a done for you type of business, when you're a done for you type of service, a freelancer, an agency, you're out there, web, you know, you're building funnels. You're out there freaking designing websites for other businesses. You're out there running Facebook ads for other businesses. Dude, how many can you really take on? especially when it's just you, like not, not many at all. That's why I tell, when I'm talking to people and they're like, David, I want to build an agency and, and I want to go out there and get clients. I'm like, dude, you can, and you will for sure. But by the time you get to like three, four, five clients and you hold them monthly, it becomes a little circus and it becomes, you know, you end up babysitting and, and you end up taking calls, you know, all damn day, then, then actually closing more deals and making more money. Like it becomes a freaking nightmare to a certain extent in the client services business. Some of you guys like that type of business. I actually don't. I don't like the client services business. I like the marketing business. I like the direct response marketing business where I can put a message in front of the right audience and get them to click and buy. I don't want to talk to anyone. You know what I mean? Like that's, 
that that's just me. I mean, everyone's different. Obviously real estate agent, they have to deal with people. You're in the client services business and that's fine. That's totally fine. But I'm talking about like scale, like, like for us to really scale. So for example, if you are a real estate agent, what's the one way we can, we can, if we're selling one deal a month, okay, we're closing one escrow a month. How do we get to closing 25 per month? You'd have to hire a team, right? In this case, how do I go from one client a month to 25 clients a month? And to get those 25 clients a month, I was on vacation. How does that happen? To get 25 clients a month where I didn't even get out of bed. How does that happen? To get 25 clients a month, to get 50 clients a month, to get 100 clients a month, and you haven't even taken a phone call or did one presentation physically yourself. How does that happen? Digital courses. That's how it happens. So in the beginning, I'm like, dang, dude, I, I already know I can't, I can't talk to everyone. I already know I can't bring on as many people that, that, that need my help. Like, I want to help everyone. There's a couple million people in my niche alone. I want to help them all. I can't possibly talk to them all. How do I do it? Teach them through a digital course. And so this is what's booming, you guys. This is what's going to continue to boom. And I'm just saying from a consumer side of it all, an honest review on spending that kind of money on knowledge that was going to help me and that is going to help me get to get to the next level, well worth it. Shout out to Dan Henry, man. My number one mentor by far. This was, this was definitely not a video for him at all. This is for my YouTube fam. I'm just trying to wake you up on, on number one, invest in yourself. It's the only way you're going to get better. And I'm going to end it here. It's the only way, okay? Number two, you have to, number two, if you're any type of entrepreneur and, 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 and you have any type of knowledge, passion, experience, or any type of any type of, of of knowledge, I'm telling you right now, man, package it all up and sell it to a specific audience. You can help people, man. That's how you're gonna help the masses. That's how you can get a message to the masses through video content and, and digital publishing. So I host everything on Kartra. There's a 14 day trial. There's a link below. That's where my membership is hosted. That's where I sell my membership. Um, and I'm just giving you a, a, a bird's eye view on, on, on Dan Henry's. This, one, this one's his. This is sold out courses. Um, and these are all the courses that I've completed, man, um, in the past 30 days. I'm 30 days in. I'm literally, I'm literally this close, man, this close from launching my course fully to the masses um, with Facebook advertising. And I'm, again, man, I'm so freaking thankful for the course to learning Facebook ads on a whole nother level, man. And again, those two, those two reasons alone, scaling my course, solidifying my knowledge with Facebook advertising, that right there was worth the damn investment all in itself. So you guys invest in yourself, man. If you're an entrepreneur, package your knowledge because there's people out there that are willing to consume it and 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 those who are willing that's what my youtube channel is all about those who are willing to consume information for free i'll end it with this one those out there who are willing to consume information for free there is also a percentage of those who are willing to pay a premium for more information never forget that you guys so go out there make some money it's 2020 God bless.